recognizing the unique value of its traditions, the Hungarian capital city has managed to maintain its magic and charm, and is rightly known as the Queen of the Danube. Budapest Keleti train station is the largest among the three main railway stations in Budapest. Most international express trains arrive and depart from this central station. The building was constructed in an eclectic style between 1881 and 1884 and was one of the most modern railway stations of Europe in that time. It was planned by Guyula Rochlitz and Janos Fekatehazi. It's very easy to find your way around Budapest. A ride on the number two tram will allow you to see all the best tourist attractions for the price of just a single ticket. It's a wonderful way to explore the city and enjoy its beautiful landscapes, including the lovely Danube River. The Budapest Metro was the second underground transport network in the world after London's. It consists of three metro lines that intersect only at the Diakter station. The subway is clean and efficient by European standards and will get you where you need to go. Fast. Regarded by many as one of the world's most beautiful cities, travelers are quickly recognizing the appeal of Budapest, with tourism accounting for approximately 20 million visitors per year. Budapest's classicist, Romanesque, Gothic, and Art Nouveau architecture is predominantly shaped by the works of master architects of the 19th century. At the same time, many significant buildings that were built in Hungary during Roman times and during Turkish occupation still stand. The city has had its share of rough times during its 1,000-year-old history, so the blocks of buildings and districts are not always uniform in style. This is what gives Budapest its unique eclectic architecture. Many of Budapest's highlights are easy to approach walking, and in the center you find more and more pedestrian zones from year to year. But be prepared, don't wear high-heeled shoes in the downtown area, as there are lots of stone pavements, especially on Castle Hill. Rising 48 meters above the Danube, the Castle Hill dominates the city. This hill is the place where Budapest was founded. It is a small, densely built rock with the Buddha Castle as its most prominent building. After massive extensions made to it throughout history, today's Buddha Castle is comprised of 203 rooms and serves as home to several museums, including the Budapest History Museum as well as the Hungarian National Gallery. Outside of the museum, there's an easily accessed tower and walkway that gives you some of the most amazing panoramic views of Budapest and the Danube. Take a stroll along the Duna Corso, Budapest's promenade, starting at the Elizabeth Bridge and heading towards the Chain Bridge. This pleasant elevated walkway in Pest has magnificent views across the Danube to the Buddha side. You will pass many private restaurants and cafes, all with ample breathing room around them usually a rarity in this part of town. The motor traffic has been cleverly tucked away on the other side of the number two tram line, allowing a serene afternoon at the bank of the river. Catch great views of Castle Hill, looming over the other side of the Danube. Boat restaurants float calmingly on the water, offering a wonderful dining experience with a great view of the Danube and its bridges. If you continue walking to the northern end of Corzo, you'll reach the Chain Bridge. Go ahead and take the time to walk over the bridge and back. Enjoy the walk and the changing perspectives of the city from the bridge. The Chain Bridge, or Szczeniancid, is one of Budapest's most famous landmarks and was the first permanent bridge over the river to unify the two halves of the city. Shopping in Budapest has changed dramatically since the more Spartan days of communism. A huge variety of consumer goods, both foreign and home produced, are now available here. For a traditional shopping experience, don't miss a visit to some of Budapest's many markets. These range from stunning 19th century food halls to flea markets offering everything from trinkets to furniture and antiques. In many, you will see country women in traditional costumes selling fruit and vegetables, as well as local cheeses, honey, and sausages. Hungarian products make great gifts. You can find many Hungarian specialties, such as foodstuffs, world-famous porcelain brands, and folk art, including handmade embroidery and tablecloths.
love shopping will rank a visit to the Vatsi Utka as among their favorite Budapest experiences. Many of the street shops are Euro fashion boutiques, great for high-end fashion shopping and of course, for fun window shopping. Vacationers will also find a fair number of souvenir shops located on Vatsi Street and the small streets that intersect it, making it an ideal place to find something for the folks back home. Buda and Pest are divided by the Danube, which is one of the biggest rivers in Europe. Since the river is situated in the middle of the city, many of the important sites are situated along its embankment. Several boat cruises that are available along the Danube will allow you to become acquainted with the sites and can even be arranged as an evening program with dinner, dancing, or wine tasting. One of the most striking and famous landmarks in Budapest is set on the Pest Bank of the Danube River. The Budapest Parliament Building is the seat of the Hungarian Parliament, which is known as the National Assembly of Hungary. This important Hungarian attraction is the country's largest building and one of the largest parliament buildings in all of Europe. The richly decorated neo-Gothic design of the parliament was conceived by Imre Steindl, who was inspired by the Houses of Parliament in London. The Danube River is massive, at about 400 to 500 meters wide, even in the heart of Budapest. Eight road bridges and two railway bridges cross the Danube within the precincts of the city. These bridges form an inalienable part of the city's landscape. The bridges are in the city center. The Margaret, the Chain, the Elizabeth, and the Liberty Bridge are determining elements of the city's panorama. During the summer months and at low water levels, many people take walks along the Danube and sunbathe on the stairs. The sun shines brightly over Budapest during the summer, but temperatures rarely reach the point that can make sightseeing uncomfortable. The hottest months are July and August, and these are the busiest months for tourism in Budapest. Autumn in Budapest is beautiful, with the warm sunshine continuing well into September. The leaves of the city's many trees turn stunning shades of orange, gold, and brown. The onset of the warmer weather is celebrated in late March with the Budapest Spring Festival, the biggest event on the city's cultural calendar. With opera, chamber music performances, jazz, ballet, contemporary dance, and theater, the festival draws culture vultures from across Europe, and accommodation is best booked in advance during the week of the festival. Budapest in the snow is a stunning sight to see, and snowfall is a real possibility in the winter months of December, January, and February. Wrap up warm and head out to see the city transformed into a winter wonderland. Taking a dip in the city's famous indoor thermal baths is a wonderfully relaxing way to escape the chill. In December, the annual Budapest Christmas Fair opens on Vorosmarthi Square, spicing up the cold days in Hungary's capital. When nighttime rolls in, Budapest is transformed into a socialite's heaven. There's no specific entertainment district, as the city's diverse nightlife is spread all throughout the city. Choose from pubs, dance clubs, jazz bars, late night cafes, cocktail bars, or casinos. The summer brings an even greater wealth of options when Budapest expands its nightlife into several outdoor venues. the moonlight, Budapest takes on a gorgeous, glamorous face. From the river, there's a beautiful view of the parliament, the bridges, and other attractions of the city. Many night cruises on the Danube are available to take you through the sights along the river, where you can see them beautifully floodlit, their grandeur illuminating the riverbanks. The 
1956 Revolution Monument commemorates the dismantling of Joseph Stalin's statue, which took place in October 1956 in protest of the Soviet occupation of Hungary during World War II. Completed in 2006, the monument is located on the spot where the statue of Stalin once stood. Located in Budapest City Park, this statue of the American President George Washington was erected in 1906 as a sign of unity between the U.S. and Hungary. It honors the father of American democracy, who inspired many Hungarians who held democratic ideals. Hero Square is a large and impressive city square a testament to the Hungarian national pride and freedom. Located between the elegant Andrasi Avenue and City Park, it is the focus of political and social life and one of the city's most popular landmarks. At its heart is the colonnaded Millennium Monument, which was built in 1896 to celebrate 1,000 years of the Hungarian nation. It features graceful statues and reliefs depicting the conquests of famous Hungarian figures throughout history. In the middle of Hero Square stands a 36-meter-high Corinthian column with the statue of Archangel Gabriel at the top, the symbol of the Roman Catholic religion. At the pedestal, the equestrian statues commemorate Arpat and the seven chieftains of the Hungarian tribes who settled their people in the present territory of Hungary. Hero Square is flanked by two of Budapest's most notable cultural centers, the Museum of Fine Arts and the Art Gallery. The Museum of Fine Arts is among the city's largest public collections, housing European paintings of prominent artists like Raphael, Titian, Veronese, Rubens, and El Greco. The art gallery is the largest exhibition space in Hungary. It has no permanent collection of its own, but rather accommodates regular temporary exhibitions, which feature mostly contemporary artists and art groups. the romantic Danube River, with the Buddha Hills to the west and the start of the Great Plain to the east, Budapest is truly the little Paris of Central Europe. It is an architectural gem, with enough Baroque, neoclassical, eclectic, and Art Nouveau buildings to satisfy anyone's appetite, with parks brimming with attractions, museums filled with treasures, pleasure boats cruising up and down the scenic Danube and Turkish era thermal baths belching steam, the Hungarian capital is a delight by both day and by night. <laughs>